Are the three P's enough to diagnose diabetes? The three P's are present in the majority of people with diabetes. However, in those with type 2 diabetes, these could not be as prominent as those with type 1 diabetes. In certain instances, people with diabetes might not show the symptoms and still suffer from diabetes. To help a doctor determine if you have diabetes or not, they'll examine all symptoms and then conduct tests. The tests that a doctor will perform will include the following. A1C tests, fasting blood sugar testing, glucose tolerance test, and random blood sugar tests. A1C testing analyzes an indicator that estimates blood glucose levels over the past one to three months. If a person is diagnosed with diabetes, the value is 6.5% or more. Fasting blood glucose tests require that a person not eat for some time, usually as little as 8 to 10 hours. A fasting blood glucose level of 99 mg per deciliter or less is average. 100 to 125 mg per deciliter indicates prediabetes, and 126 mg per deciliter or more indicates diabetes. The glucose tolerance test is a laboratory test that checks how your body stores sugar from the blood in tissues such as muscle and fat. The test is often used to diagnose diabetes. The most common glucose tolerance test is the oral glucose tolerance test, known as OGTT. Before the test begins, a blood sample will be taken from you. Then you will be asked to drink a liquid that contains a certain amount of glucose, usually 75 grams. Your blood will be drawn again every 30 to 60 minutes after you drink the solution. If your blood glucose level is 200 mg per deciliter or more after 2 hours, you have diabetes. A random glucose test measures the amount of glucose or sugar circulating in a person's blood. Doctors perform this test and use the result to determine if a person likely has diabetes. While additional tests may be needed to confirm a complete diagnosis, a random glucose test can help doctors decide if further testing is needed. So to diagnose diabetes, laboratory tests should be taken into account. And the three PS are not enough for diabetes diagnosis because people with diabetes may not show any...